Here are three things to never do during lucid dreaming sex. Now lucid dreaming sex is something that I've spoken about in other videos. It's very easy to do, it feels incredibly realistic and vivid. It feels pretty good. But here are three things that you should never do if you're trying to have lucid dream sex, astral sex, or whatever you're trying to do. So number one, as soon as you start the experience, you need to calm yourself down and reduce your heart rate. If your heart rate is too high, you're gonna wake yourself up, as I'm sure you know, the dream is not gonna last long and you're gonna be basically going back to playing whatever video game you're playing instead of doing whatever you want with your crush. So it's a pretty important one, but you need to keep your heart rate low. A few ways of doing that, okay? Uh, number one, you could meditate during the day more. That would actually help regulate your heart rate and help you be able to keep yourself calm during stressful situations. You can also, during the dream, when you're actually you know, gonna try and have lucid dream sex, Try something called box breathing. Box breathing is where you basically have four segments to your breath cycle. So number one, you breathe in for four seconds, and then you hold your breath for four seconds, then you breathe out for four seconds, and then you hold your empty lungs for four seconds, and then you start the cycle again. That's one cycle of box breathing. Uh, and if you do that, well, it's gonna, the military use this actually, to calm themselves down in stressful situations. So if the military use it in really stressful army situations, I'm pretty sure it will work for you when you're trying to have lucid sex. And I can tell you from experience, it does work. Okay, it calms you down. It regulates and stabilizes the dream. Uh, but more importantly, it reduces your heart rate, which means you're gonna be less likely to wake up. Number two, don't have lucid dream sex with somebody you know or somebody that you see often. And of course, you're gonna disagree with me there because that's probably why you wanna do it, right? But if you do that, then you might start to have like blurred memories. You might start to forget whether you did something in real life or in a dream. And that can get you into all sorts of trouble. And number three, I really have to stress this again, don't get too excited because the more excited you get, the higher your heart rate's gonna go. And I'm gonna share a tip in a minute which will uh, help you to stabilize. A little bonus tip, right? But the more excited you get, the higher your heart rate is gonna go and the more likely it is that you're gonna be waking up. Okay, and this is kind of, you know, this is not a good thing. Now, the last tip I wanna share with you, if you do want to do this, I have other videos on my channel about how to have lucid dream sex. It's kind of easy, you know, it does feel good. It was very realistic. Uh, but the one tip I wanna give you is that you should not rely on this as a kind of escapism. I know you, lucid dreaming can be used for escapism, but you shouldn't really be using it just to experience only sexual things. Because if you do that, if you just have lucid dreaming sex, and that's all you use it for. You're kind of wasting the commodity of lucid dreaming. Now, lucid dreaming can be used for a huge number of things, spiritual development, personal growth, improving yourself, learning skills, and you know, you've heard me go on about that stuff for a long time. In a nutshell, let's assume if you're, let's assume that you're gonna be, you're gonna have a lucid dream, let's say roughly a third of the time. That's being very optimistic about this. Most of you will have a lucid dream, let's say one out of 10. One out of 10 dreams will be lucid for you if you actually learn how to do it and follow the steps and everything. So that's one out of 10, so that's a 10th, right? 10%. Let's assume, for example, that you have a limited number of dreams in your life that you will have. And I know this is kind of a dark thought, but let's, let's just assume that you have, let's say, I don't know, 500 lucid dreams or 2000 lucid dreams or whatever it is. I haven't done the maths. If you spend like half of those lucid dreams having lucid dream sex, you're kind of wasting them. Because like I said, dreaming about having sex makes it very likely you will wake up. So let's be very you know, optimistic and say that half of those lucid dream sexes, lucid dreaming sex sessions uh, are gonna end prematurely. You're gonna wake up early. You've just wasted a huge chunk of your lucid dreams uh, that you're gonna have in your entire life, which could have been I don't know, four times as long, five times as long. You could have been doing profound, incredible things other than lucid dream sex in those dreams. And you've got, to, it's a numbers game, okay? Let's assume if you're gonna live for another, let's say, I don't know, 70 years. I don't know how old you are when you watch this, but let's assume 70 years, right? That's seven times 365 nights of dreaming. And let's say if you're lucid in one out of 10 of those, and then of those lucid dreams, you have lucid dream sex in half of them, Basically, you're, you're, cutting, you're cutting the lucid dream time in half at the very best case scenario. What you're really doing is wasting a huge opportunity that you could have been spending all of those lucid dreams 
that you would have had sex in on something more profound and some thing or a dream that would have lasted a lot longer. So in my opinion, uh, and this is kind of why I stopped doing that in lucid dreams of quite a while ago, in fact, uh, it's just not worth it because you, you, you waste the golden opportunity you have to do incredibly more profound things, talking to your subconscious mind and connecting with your elements of your personality and uh, the, all kinds of incredible things you can do, which are way more profound and are going to have more of a benefit on you than a quick smash in the dream. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.